Hello everyone, and today, we are back for another Let's Talk video, and we're going to be talking about Tales of Ternario, one of the most hyped up games in all of Roblox. Utopian, the lead developer, just made an update about Tales of Ternario just a few days ago, and I want to react to it and talk about it with y'all. I feel like it's an important topic to talk about because I am honestly really worried right now. The reason why I'm really worried is because of the hype Tales of Tenario has. The game is overhyped. It is hyped up so much that it's bound to disappoint some players at launch. The last thing I want is people not giving Tales of Tenario a fair shot, just because the absurd expectations were not met. In this video, I will be explaining what the expectations for Tales of Tenario should be like, and talk about how this game could affect the futures to other creature caption games. So let's head right to it. Let's talk about Utopian's recent tweet, and he tells everyone what we should expect on release day. And overall, I am very hyped for it. 100 plus new Tenorians, 100 plus new items, 180 new moves, 18 new areas to explore, moon cycles, weathers, missions, and way more. This is so much content coming out on Tales of Tenorio's release, which is absolutely amazing. It shows how much the Tales of Tornario dev team really wants to make this game good. But there are a few things I want to talk about in this post. The first thing is the 100 plus new Tornorians being added. Well yes, 100 plus new Tornorians being added is awesome. That doesn't count all of the evolution lines for each Tornorian. If I were to make a prediction to the number of fully evolved Tornorians in game, I will predict 50 to 60 of them. Which while that is a lot, that isn't as many as it sounds. This could really make some people upset at launch because when you compare it to 50 to 60 fully evolved Tenorians to LL's current 110 fully evolved Lumians, it makes Tales of Tenorio look worse. It's an extremely unfair comparison to compare Tales of Tenorio to current Lumian Legacy, mainly because Lumian Legacy has been out since 2019 and has had several updates to the game to improve the game over time. This is Tales of Tenorio at launch, meaning that the game is going to get better as time goes on and more updates get released. Tales of Tenorio will definitely have the best launch compared to the other creature capturing games on Roblox, but it isn't going to be better than Lumion Legacy and Noodle World on day one. Also comparing Tales of Tenorio's routes to LL's routes is also unfair as, like I said earlier, Lumion Legacy has improved their routes as Llama Train Studios got more comfortable at making updates. It's better to compare Tales of Tenorio's routes to the first new routes of Lumion Legacy. It's only fair. The 180 new moves will, will be very fun to try out as well, but this counts every move in the entire game. Only a third of the moves will actually be viable in PvP, as the other moves needs to make the Tales of Tenorio balance throughout the story. It's very important to give Tales of Tenorio fair expectations, because this is a creature capturing game on Roblox at the end of the day and it's the first big project for these developers. Just because I am given the game lower expectations compared to the rest of the community, I am still expecting a fun game at launch. It will have tons of replayable content at launch, a fresh new experience, and a fresh new community that joins the creature capturing genre. My expectations are still pretty high on Tales of Tenario, but I don't expect Tales of Tenario to kill Lumion Legacy or Doodle World right away, because those expectations are really unrealistic. That's the reason why I'm making this video. I want to give Tales of Tenorio the fairest chance it can get at launch, and some people want the game to be amazing right away. But these games are extremely hard to make on Roblox, and when people get disappointed at a game, they often never come back to the game. That's what happened with Lumion Legacy's launch, and I don't want the same to happen for Tales of Tenorio. So what should be Tales of Tenorio's expectations at launch? Well, it should be expected to be a fun, replayable creature catching game with tons of fun gimmicks and a really good story. That's what the expectation should be, and I hope other people watch this video so they can give the game a fair shot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be making more videos on Tales of Tenario once the game comes out, and I am extremely excited about the game. That's why I make this video, and I want to give this game fair expectations because I want this game to do well at launch. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Pretty short video and I will see y'all all later. Bye bye!